tonight with more drugs and an arrest. It happened this past weekend at Johnson Barn, about 45, 45 minutes northwest of Fargo. Reporter Lisa Kroll took us inside a rave earlier this month. She joins us live now in our newsroom. And Laura, uh, Lisa, what are authorities so concerned about? Well, Dana, drugs are definitely the main concern here. On Saturday, an undercover police officer says he arrested a 17-year-old boy who was selling acid at the rave. A deputy sheriff for Cass County was also at the rave. He says the concern is not as much with alcohol or marijuana like it used to be, but at these dances, kids are experimenting with ecstasy, rohypnol, and LSD. That's part of the culture, too. You know, when they take that drug, and it just makes you want to dance all night long. It's a rave dance. That's, that's, that's exactly what the scene is all about. Greg McDonald coordinates undercover officers at raves. He says these techno dance parties can last from 10 at night until 6 in the morning, and several people here are buying and selling drugs. The popular rave drug ecstasy has been filtering into our area, and at this weekend's rave, McDonald says he saw some frightening experiences. One boy ran up to him yelling his heart wouldn't stop racing. He admitted to drinking a mysterious pink liquid being passed around the dance floor, along with this message, drink this, it'll make you feel good. He said that what, what he got was just a tre tremendous rush of energy after he drank this. He said after a little bit, it, it, just, it was just like a thousand caffeine pills were in him, and he just wanted to dance, dance, dance. And this is, this is coming from the mouth of an 18-year-old that I had a conversation with up there. That's scary. Along with these drugs come different ways to enhance their effects. Glow sticks create a psychedelic trail of lights for those on ecstasy. And some household items turned drug paraphernalia include pacifiers to combat the oral fixation and teeth grinding experienced by ecstasy users. And dust masks are also used for breathing in Vicks vapor rub, which increases and prolongs their high. If you find a crack, crack pipe in your kid's room, you'd be concerned. Well, you should be equally concerned if you find items like this in your kid's room. I want to point out that in many cases, glow sticks, even pacifiers, might be a fashion statement or maybe a recent trend. But McDonald says this is something parents should be looking for, especially since the age group for raves ranges from 16 to mid-30s. And this isn't a blanket statement just because someone goes to a rave doesn't mean they're using drugs. But police are really concerned about the rising drug use at these dances. Dana? Lisa, thank you. Lisa Kroll reporting live in our newsroom tonight. When we come